Hello and welcome back. Hey, how are you? How's it going? For today's video, I thought I'd go ahead and give you guys a few facts about myself. Since I am pretty much redoing my YouTube channel, starting over, um, I thought I'd go ahead and reintroduce myself. So for the ones who have been watching me for a while, you guys may already know some stuff, but you also may learn some new stuff today. And for my newbies, my new subscribers, Hello, and uh, get ready to learn about me. So I actually did write down these facts because if not, then I would get so many brain farts and I don't really want that and I'm more than sure you guys don't want that either. So I have them written down here on my phone, legit. I think I wanna say I got 30 facts written down. So it's a good amount. We're gonna learn a lot today, okay? So to start off, I am 19 years old. I am a fall baby. My birthday is in September, late September. I have two sisters and one brother, all older than me, which makes me the baby of the family. In high school, I took two years of TV video productions, which was pretty much like a filming and editing kind of class. We do a lot of video projects and get into like the whole background of it, the editing and learning all these tips and tricks. It was pretty Fun. It was my favorite class out of high school and then when I became a senior I ended up taking choir just for the hell of it because I kind of ran out of options that I wanted to take in high school so choir it was. I currently have a job um, when I'm not filming and uploading videos for you guys. I am a cashier at a home decor and furniture store that is called At Home. Been there for a little while and I'm very happy to have that job. I don't drive yet but I do have a car. I did have my permit but it expired so now I'm currently refreshing my memory so I can go ahead and retake it and work to getting my driver's license. I am a sucker for red roses they are literally my favorite flower they always have been ever since I was a little girl I've just always fantasized about the red rose I've just I loved it so much so much that I don't really care for bouquets of red roses for some reason a single red rose has always felt special to me it sounds weird but yeah so I am actually a dog person but we do have a cat here. Um, it's not my cat, it's my sister's cat. I just watch him most of the time. Um, I wouldn't say that I love him, but I wouldn't say that I hate him either. I tolerate him. So, sorry Panther. So a current obsession that I have right now, or actually an obsession that I have had for quite some time is Suavecita's beauty products from Suavecita Pomade. I have just been loving their stuff. I have bought a few tops from them already. I have a sweater. I have pretty much all of their lipsticks. Um, and I just find myself buying pretty much everything that they bring out. <laughs> I just find them to be so freaking amazing. Like their products are pretty good. I'm wearing their current lipstick right now. This one is Foxy and it is so pretty and so smooth. Like, I just, I love all of their stuff. It is, it drives me crazy and it impresses me every single time. A sound that I cannot stand is the sound of metal scratching against other metal. Like when you're like sharpening the knives or whatever. It frustrates me and honestly I want to say it is a trigger to my anxiety because the last few times that I have heard it it has triggered me so much it has made me want to like freak out it like it was knocking on that door of my anxiety just trying to get it out and it was horrible I actually like to explore um, though I don't really get out much when I do have the chance to explore I find it to be so fun and just so amazing like it makes me excited it's just it, it's fun i love it so something that actually relaxes me in a sense is the smell of nature the smell of the outdoors the trees the grass the flowers everything about nature i love that smell it is so refreshing and it's just so pretty i love it i actually have traveled a little bit um when my dad was 
working at his old job, he would go long ways and he was able to take somebody with him, so he would take me most of the time. So I pretty much saw a glimpse of Las Vegas, Arizona, Utah, and then I had taken a trip to Tijuana when I was starting the procedure with my braces. I had gone to Tijuana to go get some teeth extracted, so I saw a little bit of that too. And I think that's it for now. So my favorite animal is actually a panda bear. It always has been ever since I was a little girl. And if you look inside my room, if you get to know me, you'll notice pandas pretty much everywhere. Um, I am currently wearing some panda socks. They have like a panda face in the back. Can't really tell, but they're there. I have these panda pictures right here that my best friend actually bought for me as like a little gift. I have panda bears, I have this one and a bigger one in the back. I have like a panda art portrait thingy. A few more stuffed plushies, like I'm just all for pandas. It's kind of ridiculous. So my favorite color is purple, but you are not really going to see much purple around me. You're going to see more like red or blue because that's mostly what I wear or look more towards. I don't know, it's weird, but I just know that my favorite color is purple. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Anyways, so I freaking love the sound of a piano. I love the sound of an acoustic guitar. I love the sound of a saxophone. Like those three instruments soothe my freaking soul. I find them to be so beautiful, like to the point where my heart literally warms up listening to that. It is crazy. <laughs> so I'm actually a lefty, um, but sometimes I will use my right hand for things. I don't know, my hands go different ways. Sometimes I'll be comfortable with my left, certain things I'll be comfortable with my right. So I kind of like to call myself ambidextrous, but I do tend to use my left hand more than my right, so yeah. Some of my favorite snacks are apple slices with peanut butter. Might be weird to some of you guys, but it's really good to me, especially when the apples are crunchy, like that is the best. Or when they're green apples, it is so good. Either that or hot Cheetos with cheese. And I know that took like a big dip, like it went from healthy to junk food. <laughs> so recently this year, I actually got involved with more makeup um, and with earrings. I have these earrings right now. Let me show you guys real quick. But I recently bought these earrings from this jewelry store called Lovisa and they are actually little roses. You know, the signature rose. So I have these ones. I bought a few more dangly earrings um, and then I bought some makeup products like eyeshadow palettes, foundation, and all that fun stuff. Stuff that I never thought I was gonna buy because I was never really interested in it for quite some time. But then randomly, I just noticed little by little I was getting curious about it and I ended up buying it and I ended up using it. So that's crazy because I never thought it was gonna happen, but here we are. I actually like candles. I find candles to be so relaxing, so soothing, and so beautiful scent-wise. Um, I currently have one. It's called like succulent something. Don't really know the name, but it smells like nature a little bit. Little easygoing type of nature scent, and it just, I love it so much. It smells so good and I'm really glad that I bought it. <laughs> so I'm not really a heels type of girl. Most of the time I'm just wearing either my Converse or my Vans. The only time that I'll wear heels is when I go out to like family events or whatever. And then that also ties into my wardrobe as well. I'm not really one who likes to dress all up for the day, like dressing fancy in a sense or wearing something cute or whatever, legit, I just like to wear jeans and t-shirts. Um, again, unless I'm going to a family event or whatever, then I'll try to put something cute on, but even then, it's still like jeans and a nice top. One thing I'll never wear is skirts. I feel so weird wearing skirts, but yeah, there's that. I'm currently trying to change up my wardrobe, actually, because I am tired of seeing the same stuff in my closet. It's annoying, so yeah. <laughs> I am such a horror fanatic. 
I love scary movies. I love anything scary, though I do tend to get scared. It still excites me. And I also love Disney movies, hence my Disney sweater that I have on right now. Oh yeah, love my Disney. Do you guys notice how that took a big ass turn as well? I just, I, I don't know. I don't like to read. Well, not I don't like to. It's more like I can't read. Like for the life of me, I just can't get into reading. I've tried and I've tried, but it never goes well. I end up forgetting what I've read. Like, it's difficult. <laughs> That's why I will always prefer movies. I am a sucker for music. Love, love that music. I listen to almost everything except for some Spanish music, like banda or that crazy Spanish music. Not really good with my Spanish music genres, but there are just some that irritate the hell out of me and I just won't listen to it. I can't get into it. Um, but if I'm like with family or with someone who likes to listen to that music, then okay, so be it. You know, I'll let it, I'll tolerate it. But you will never see me personally listening to music like that because it just, it frustrates me and it really annoys me, but I do listen to other music, the majority of music, pretty much. I have two tattoos. Um, if you have been keeping up with me pretty much since the beginning, you already know what those are. If not, then I have this panda one here that has a little butterfly on the top, and then I have one on my inner arm area that was kind of like a grow through what you go through sort of deal. I have a video on it, on my channel. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and see that, y'all can go ahead and check it out. Johnny Depp has always been a big old crush of mine. Like, I grew up watching movies with him in it, and every single time I would watch movies with him in it, I would get so excited because the dude is freaking handsome. Like, my favorite movie from his is Sweeney Todd because he looks so good and he sounds amazing. I love it so much. I love him so much. Johnny Depp. You are amazing, sir. I am actually scared of heights. Like when it comes to riding a roller coaster and going on a roller coaster that has like a big ass dip at the end or whatever, I freak out about it. So many things go through my head and it just scares the hell out of me. Along with that, I am also scared of statues. Statues tend to terrify the hell out of me. At my job, we have a couple of aisles that have nothing but statues for like outdoor gardens or whatever. Every single time I have to walk through those aisles when I'm opening up the store is the worst few minutes of my life. I'm walking through those aisles and I'm just looking down because they are on both sides and I feel like I have to run out of those aisles because I can't be there. It's terrifying. I am actually not a healthy person. I'm not one to eat vegetables and fruits like nothing. Legit, I struggle to eat fruits and vegetables. The only things that I do eat are carrots, corn, apples, sometimes those small oranges. Um, that's about it. Anything else, it is a struggle for me. I cannot deal with the taste. Like even in my burgers, because I'm a girl who eats burgers, hot dogs, chili cheese fries, all this sort of unhealthy food. And even in my burgers, sometimes the only thing I'll add in my burgers is lettuce. But even then, I don't add it all the time because I don't like to. <laughs> sometimes I'll drink morning shakes, but they have to be like berries or pineapple, orange, mango, that sort of deal. Greens, I can't really do, like at all. It's difficult for me to be healthy. I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty guys, that is going to conclude today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed and learned quite a bit. I'm pretty sure there was a lot to learn about me. What was that like? That was a total of what, like 30 facts that I gave you guys? I'm even surprised that I was able to sit down and think about every single one of those facts. Yay for me! Look at that! If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and throw me a big ol' thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Go ahead and comment down below some interesting facts about you guys. I'm kind of curious to know what's up with you guys. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram because when I'm not active here, I am active on there. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!